In a few weeks, the Beaver State could be one step closer to legalization. That's when signatures are expected to be certified to put a marijuana initiative on the November ballot. NBC 5's Roma Vivicencio is live in our Medford newsroom with more. Roma? Natalie, a group called New Approach Oregon has collected over 100,000 signatures for a ballot measure. Now it's up to the Secretary of State to validate those signatures. If she approves them, it'll then be up to voters to decide where we stand. Well, I don't think it's a good idea to have recreational marijuana. It's good for revenues, might be bad for people. Basically, I don't see the harm in it. No. Jackson County residents expressing their mixed emotions about recreational marijuana and the chance of it becoming legal here in Oregon. It can now legally be sold in Washington, and it looks like we're not far behind. We are, we are very optimistic, but we, we believe Oregonians are open to the case, but we are going to fight for every vote. Peter Zuckerman is part of a group called New Approach Oregon. They collected 145,000 signatures to try and put the recreational measure on the November ballot. We have submitted way more signatures than necessary to qualify a measure for the ballot that would um, regulate, legalize, and tax marijuana in Oregon. Rob Patridge with the Oregon Liquor Control Commission says if the measure passes in November, they'll be the ones in charge of regulating the marijuana. He also says for right now they're keeping a close eye on Colorado and Washington to see how it impacts them there. Zuckerman says by taxing marijuana, it will bring in millions to the state, something he says is already happening in Colorado. They have raised $27.2 million in just the first four months of legalization. Back in Jackson County, Gold Hill and Ashland have already proposed putting a tax on recreational pot in the event it does become legal. The OLCC also says if the, if the measure is approved, they'll need to hire more people to help regulate sales. They say right now they're barely keeping up with medical marijuana. Live in the newsroom, Roma Villavicencio, NBC5 News.